When our museum opened its doors in 1949, we were one of very few institutions in the world that recognized that film preservation was an imperative. Established in 1955, the George Eastman Award for Distinguished Achievement in the Art of Film reflected an emphasis on our mission of film preservation. Honorees over the ensuing decades have included Fred Astaire, Lauren Bacall, Frank Capra, Gary Cooper, Greta Garbo, Audrey Hepburn, Gregory Peck, Martin Scorsese, Jimmy Stewart, Lillian Gish, and Meryl Streep, to name a few. Michael Douglas's work as an actor and producer have earned him a place in this august group. Michael Douglas is the perfect American president, the quintessential American everyman in fatal attraction or falling down, the archetype of the American husband in War of the Roses. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is one can try to imitate, exaggerate, or even make a parody of almost any other famous actor in Hollywood, but there is no way, just no way to imitate Michael Douglas. When charisma reaches this degree of command over its own manifestation, acting becomes more than a profession. It's a vocation. And vocation is not something that can be imitated. It can only be earned. Charisma is not a coincidence. To make it exist on screen and elsewhere, one has to deserve it first. It's my great honor to present the 69th George Eastman Award to Michael Douglas. Congratulations, Michael. It's been a, a real treat to, today here in uh, Rochester, you know, and being part um, of the Eastman House uh, and seeing what's been accomplished um, here. Um, I'm, I think probably that my first impression coming through the house itself uh, and realizing what work had been done was to acknowledge uh, Georgia Gosnell for her incredible efforts in the campaign that she led. And then to see the archives. Uh, you all have a treasure here, uh, a real treasure, which uh, I'm looking forward to sharing and telling like a lot of other people about it. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, I love seeing the, the archives and your films that you had here. To be honored in the same group with Lillian Gish, and Charlie Chaplin and Gary Cooper uh, is, is beyond any expectations. Uh, and I guess looking at that list and the incredible accomplishments um, that uh, George Eastman did in his lifetime um, and the, the legacy that he's left is, is, is really impressive. In 2009, you received American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award, and in your acceptance speech, you said something very beautiful. You said that in the entertainment industry, all, all eyes are always locked upon those Monday mornings when box office reports come in, but you think that movies are important because they are ambassadors of culture, which is the reason why they should be remembered and preserved, which is exactly our motto here at the Eastman House. We preserve films, but it's difficult, often we have to make choices. If you would have to make a choice and select, let's say, only three films which you have produced or acted in to be preserved for posterity for your grandchildren, <laughs> which, which three would you select? You want to end on that question? <laughs> so I, I don't know. Oh, I, I, um, first of all, I want to say you work, and I think this goes true for any, any business any of us are in, you work as hard on your failures as you do your successes. I mean, it's not that, you know, I, may, I was out trying to make a failure. Uh, I worked on, a, on a hard as uh, them. 
So I know, obviously Cuckoo's Nest uh, stands out uh, very, Cuckoo's Nest, Wall Street, and Behind the Candelabra. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. You gotta say nice to you. When I was in the Philippines, I used to be a fan of Streets of San Francisco. And before we came here to the United States, I said, when I go to the United States, I'm going to meet Michael Douglas. And I can't believe that after 40 years, I actually get to meet Michael Douglas. What a great guy. And I have to tell you, it was one of the really most special, magical days and evenings of uh, my life. I had really no idea what to expect as far as the museum here at the Eastman House. And it was an incredible sense of, of memories and history. The exhibits that I saw were were of, of the highest quality, but most importantly, the people. All the people I've met here in Rochester, all the people associated with, uh, with the uh, museum were fantastic. So thank you all. Thank you very, very much. It's been a pleasure.